Hello everyone. Hmm? How are you guys doing today? I, this in the background is really throwing me off. I don't know what that is. I really like starting my mornings out, out here, like out my back deck. Um, it's really just kind of peaceful. It's really just, you know, I hear the birds, not too much noise. People around me aren't really awake yet, so it's really nice and quiet. It's not too hot yet. I've been up for like an hour, really. Um, I just haven't really felt like vlogging yet because I was letting my battery charge. Today is, oh gosh, what is today's day? I don't know. Let me grab my phone because it's on my phone. For, there's so much color in this picture, I'm dead. Um, today is Wednesday, May 27th. It's actually 1040, not 1015, so that's awkward. But basically, today is my first day of summer classes. And if you guys are new here, you're probably like, okay, I wonder why they're supposed to take summer classes. But if you guys are, you know, have been subscribed here for a while, you're like, of course she's taking summer classes. Of course she is. Like, workaholic, I know. This fall, I have to take A&P2 and another big class. I forgot what it is. I forgot. But I just want to be able to have time to really focus on A&P2 and the other class I need to take. Why am I blanking on what it is? I think it's another class I have to take too. It's kind of like a bigger class that I want to be able to really focus on and get a really good grade in. And then in the spring, I need to take microbiology and then I think like another class too. I don't know off the top of my head. I haven't looked at my schedule in a long time, but basically um, I'm taking, starting today, English 101 and um, nutrition. And then I am also taking a two week developmental psychology course, like around the middle of my English and nutrition course if that makes any sense I don't know if I explained that right but basically I'll be taking three classes over the summer but one of them is only two weeks long so that's not gonna be too bad and I'm excited because I love psych so that'll be fun to take a psych class um because I'm like genuinely interested in that kind of stuff so it'll be really easy for me and then I'm just excited to get English and nutrition out of the way nutrition actually sounds like it's gonna be kind of cool because um I've always been really curious and, like interested in nutrition and I feel like it's kind of a big part of nursing also like kind of I don't know why this is lopsided but yeah and I'm also excited to be back in the studying game back in the note taking you know I missed it for the three days I was gone but actually speaking of the three days that I was gone I decided to start a sticker business which I know you guys are like what Samantha you're actually crazy I know we'll see you give me three days off of having no school and I come up with a whole other side hobby so if you guys want to follow my Instagram page actually that reminds me I need to post on it um my page is called stickers by Sav and so many of my friends like reposted my page and I have 108 followers and I started the page literally two days ago which to me that's insane but yeah you guys free for to follow it stickers by Sav um the shop it's not going to be open for at least a week or two just because I need to get all the supplies and everything to make the stickers and I need to pick a source to like sell the stickers from. I'm thinking Etsy just because it'll be easy for everyone if I do Etsy. Ideally I would love to have my own website but honestly guys owning a website costs so much money and I do not have the extra money right now especially with everything happening and I haven't been able to work like I usually do because of you know the virus and everything so Hope you guys are having a great fantastic day comment down below if you're taking any summer classes i would love to know um and yeah let's just get this day rolling okay guys so i just made the post on my page so make sure you guys go follow it yep there she is I'm posting on this account every monday wednesday and friday just to keep you guys up some content until my shop opens so I'm really excited. Like this is so much fun for me. Honestly, like I'm having a great time. So even if nothing comes out of this really, like even if I do all this stuff, make the shop and I only get a couple orders and even if they're all just from my friends, like this whole process was just so fun. And I'm really fortunate that I have like the means to be able to even like do something like this. You know what I mean? It's just really fun. So yeah, I'm going to drink my coffee, probably watch some YouTube videos and then I will come back on here when I need to start doing some work because I'm getting a lot of campus notifications for my English class. So I do need to go on there at some point and actually start my classes.
is now, sorry, the TV's on. So it's now um, 12.15, so I've been working on this for about like an hour, I guess, already? Wow. Yeah, so I guess we're working for an hour. I did all my initial practice submissions for my English class, and I wrote my diagnostic essay. I kind of just whipped up something by Harry Potter. It's not the best, but it's just to test our ability and like test our writing, so it's not really that deep to do like, you know, really well on it. So I just kind of whipped up a little essay. I can actually show you guys, I guess. I'll show you. I actually really like writing essays. I have written an essay literally since high school, like because I've been taking mostly science classes so far, so just whip that up really quick. Nothing too crazy, but I will pretty much be writing an essay every week for this class. So I'll be writing about six essays, which I don't know, I kind of like writing essays, so I'm not too mad about it. But um, yeah, I need to do some more stuff for this class, but I need to get the textbook for it, which my friend Victoria has, and she's kindly letting me borrow for this class which is amazing and I definitely want to stop by and see her today um so that will probably be in this vlog as well and then I think I want to do a little bit of bio work um because I'm also in nutrition it's a bio class which is why I'm probably going to refer to it as bio just in case any of you guys like are wondering I should take a syllabus quiz my wife's out of the vlog oh. ah. <laughs> it's to um and then yeah and then once I finish that that's pretty much everything I have to do today um, so I just want to work on YouTube stuff and then some sticker stuff and then I actually do want to start the Chloe Ting 28 day challenge I don't know if you guys remember but I did do the two week challenge but then so I got to day 12 of the two weeks and then I think it was like finals or something so I literally didn't do it for four days I then after those four days I was like okay let me just finish it out and I did the one video and I literally couldn't breathe so I was like well guess not and then last week was finals week so I just didn't do anything so I think I'm gonna start the 28 day summer body challenge thing just because I do like her workouts and I like having like a schedule because it keeps me accountable. So I think I will also do that later. Um, but yeah, right now I'm gonna make me some breakfast because I'm hungry. Okay guys, I'm gonna make some breakfast, but before we make breakfast really quick, I just wanna like get something off my chest. So last night I was literally up until like 2 a.m. like learning about the whole like George Floyd situation and like that makes my heart so heavy like i literally was about to cry last night just like thinking about like all the stuff that goes on like especially like with like law enforcement and stuff it makes me so sad i'm not gonna get too deep into this because i don't really like talking about like political and like stuff like this on my channel but i also realize not talking about it is also part of the problem so it's just so and I'm very privileged to never have experienced anything like that. And I know a lot of people I also know are privileged to not experience things like that. But I think it's very important that people know that they're out there because, you know, you can't live under a rock. But it just really weighs on my heart thinking that that stuff goes on. And I wish I could, like, donate to somewhere or something to, like, I don't know. Like, I just wish I could do something. I guess the only thing you really can do is just advocate for like, I don't know. I just feel like police officers, I feel like people with positions of power like that should have like psych evaluations or something. Like there needs to be some kind of regulation. I don't know. It's just really a hard topic, but I just wanted to say something about it because like, I don't know, I feel like YouTubers don't talk about stuff like that. Like, I mean, there's obviously a good reason not to because you know, no matter what you say, people are gonna get offended, but it really just breaks my heart that you know, I just, I can't even wrap my, my mind around it really. And I saw this picture on my um, page, it's not loading, but like this picture really just, like seeing all of the names and like, just, I don't know. It just really just opened my eyes and I was really sitting here thinking about it and I was like, wow, like that is crazy. And the scary thing about this whole, like situations like this is like how much of the stuff goes on that doesn't even get the recognition and talked about like how many how much things like this like the whole George Floyd case like that video was from a couple days ago and the officers are just now like facing the repercussions for it and I'm like that's insane because it happened days ago and they were just sitting there getting away with it like anyways I am gonna end my little rant on this but I just wanted to say something because I kind of want my viewers to be educated and just all the things like I feel like stuff like this happens so often and it just and it's just literally for no reason like it's just because of hate like that's so ugly like anyways 
I'm gonna stop talking about it. I'm gonna make my eggs. I'm just gonna make some toast and scrambled eggs. Even though I kind of want a strawberries and cream oatmeal though, like low key. That sounds kind of fire, but I know I'm not gonna be full off of it. Is making oatmeal and eggs like weird? So it's currently 2.12 right now and I went on my iPad real quick to take a study break and I was working on some stickers and all of a sudden uh, it's been like two hours. So I'm going to show you guys some of the stickers I'm working on. So a lot of people who buy stickers buy like college stickers. So this is just like a sneak peek but like I've been doing stickers for all the universities in Maryland. That's where I live. So like every school in Maryland I have like a little heart where their school is where their school colors and this is just University of Maryland so UMD so it's just like the red and yellow and then it has a heart in red and yellow where the college is um I need to double check like geography wise like if I'm having them in the right places but so far I've done one for Salisbury and Towson so I'm kind of working on those and some other stickers in the works because I feel like the college ones are going to be the most popular like if I was to buy stickers I would buy stickers that the college I'm going to go to so yeah I think that's going to be like a really big hit on my website just because a lot of like my friends and stuff have been like are you making college stickers and I'm like yes don't worry I got y'all and I want to make sure that I have at least like three different kinds of stickers for the schools just so you know people feel uh, equally represented and everything like that but yeah it's just really important for me i've kind of already figured out what stuff i need it's just actually doing it is and making the designs and kind of getting everything ready digitally so that way when my stuff comes here i can start printing them learning how to use the printer kind of perfecting my technique and then getting everything together so that is what i've been doing i have to do my bio um syllabus quiz i guess i should do that right now it's actually really hot outside i kind of want to go tan a little bit just because i'm trying to be you know tan i don't know why i'm holding this like this because my hand keeps shaking but everybody's outside right now laying in the sun and stuff and i kind of want to go out there and tan a little bit i do have to babysit today and for those of you who are new here i babysit but i stay six feet away i stay in their backyard i don't go in the house i don't interact with the kids anything i literally just watch them from a distance so relax but I do have to babysit at 4 15 today and it's about 2 15 right now so I have like two hours so I think I might go outside I might do my syllabus quiz for English and then I might go and um tan for a little bit before I go um yeah so I'm gonna do my bio syllabus quiz real quick I'm gonna give you guys a different angle to look at and also um I get a lot of questions about these blue light glasses I should have been wearing them when I was doing my digital stuff but since I'm on the iPad now because of the sticker thing and then like my computer a lot. Also, I'm wearing shorts if any of you guys are wondering. It looks like I'm literally naked. That's awkward. Hey guys, it's me. I'm in the upstairs bathroom right now. Just like, mm, yeah, I look kind of scary. Ah. It's currently 8.05. I got home from babysitting like an hour ago and I've just been lettering, making more designs for my sticker store. And I'm eating this french fry, but me and my sister are about to go on a walk really quick just to do a little workout. Um, um, and I'll probably get some clips of that. I kind of do the same thing every day. So I know this isn't very interesting. I'm not sure about that. But yeah, just clean go on a walk. And yeah, let's do it. I think I want them to spider web.